what's your idea? We're back here with Yume Nikki. We, I feel like we got pretty lucky in what we were able to find last time. And the time before, in fact. These two news for, uh, new times since I've just uh, suddenly just, uh, gotten back into playing the game again. So lucky, in fact, that I feel like going for a third bout of luck without even stopping to consider that I should go rewatch the old episodes to see where we have and have not been. Have we been through this door recently? I don't think so. To reiterate, in case it wasn't uh, blatantly clear, and or if I haven't said it a billion times already, the objective is to get one effect per episode at the least. So this episode shall not end until we get that, un unless something else interesting happens. <gasps> it's very dark in here. Lamp time? Yes. I mean, that illuminated it slightly. It's still all ornate carpet designs. I know we've been here before, but we haven't been here in a fair bit of time, so can't hurt to revisit it now. Uh, it would, it's a shame. It would be nice to go here, actually, with the stoplight, because I bet there are some NPCs wandering in the darkness. Somehow I get the feeling we got an effect from this place already, this particular room, but... Not a whole percent sure about that. Actually, maybe the stoplight, because it's, you know, lights, it does light up. Uh, doesn't seem to. Never mind. Probably being able to see with the lamp is better then. I love how even just this sort of, like, very simple synthy uh, stuff manages to convey this very dire and dramatic sensation in this game. Oh, how I love it. Oh, how I adore it. In a way, I'll be quite pleased when we finish this, but in a way, I'll be so sad, because there really is nothing like it that I've played. It, well... There are some similar things. I mean, those those bits in Omori were a lot like it. It seems weird that there's like there are darker bits in the middle. Does, does anything happen if you stand in the center of this thing? Doesn't seem to. This is almost like a big arrow pointing down, or maybe it's like a space invader sprite. <laughs> that thing. Ah, interesting. Hello. My name is Modesty, I think. Yeah, something thereabouts. <laughs> nice to meet you. Or do you prefer it in the dark? Is that why you're not speaking to me? Maybe. Ah, well, never mind then. Back to the door? Okay, uh, very good. Let's use a different landmark then. I'll, uh, wait till this thing is at the top of my vision and use that as a landmark. But of course, even once we beat this game, there's Dream Diary still to play, and I'd probably like to, although who knows when we'll get to it. I wonder if I should put, I guess if I were to put Yume Nikki in a poll, Yume Nikki Dream Diary in a poll, it wouldn't be, it wouldn't be a serious poll for Yume Nikki, because that's the only other game in the series that I know of, uh, main game that is. A, and B, I don't know that they can technically call it a series, because I don't even know if they, they were made by the same people. Dream Diary and this. So perhaps it would be not prudent to do to call it that, to call it part of the same series. So I'd probably have to have, uh, put it in a non-series poll if I were to have it voted upon. Ah, okay, this is actually different than the other one when I saw a minute ago, which is over here. Right, um, well, nevertheless, I can't find any landmark immediately out there, so let's actually head up from here till we find one, and we'll use that. Or wait, now I don't know where I am. Has this the landmark we used already? Let's just use this now. I'd love to use the bike for this, but then of course I wouldn't really be able to see. I don't know if I'm above or below the door now. I mean, I guess technically I'm both since it loops, but I don't have a, I don't have a good sense of where I am in relation to, to, to the door anymore. <laughs> I've messed it all up. It's fine. I'm still being reasonably thorough, I think. Ah, hello. Uh, ghost, are you where I got uh, some ghosty one? You must be. I feel like I got a ghosty one from you. Are you no, you're not where I got faceless ghost, but did I get something from you? Hang on. Is there any other? Maybe you would like me if I were a ghost. A similar ghost. I mean, I, we can't really see each other very well now. Uh, maybe I'll put myself with an eye, like you have. One single eye. Friends, single eye friends, Cyclops friends. Okay, never mind. I will head through the store anyway, because I can't recall where it brings you. And it's probably somewhere fun and interesting. Oh, under the sea. Right. Let's get on our bike to go for a ride under the sea. Does anyone remember where, per chance, perhaps, mayhaps, to go from this place? I remember it being confusing and we spent a long time here and didn't necessarily find everything. So you can go left from here, but there's also a way to go in the right. Let's start with left, and I'll go counterclockwise around the room, uh, looking for any area where there's a break in the seaweed of legend that one cyclist may uh, decide to... Oh, right, this is one of those weird ones where it's different when you uh, go up versus down or whatever. Yeah, right, okay. Uh, time to landmark again. Seems like the kind of room they'd hide an effect in, doesn't it? Right, this is back to the sort of center. Uh, I'll now use which is a landmark. This thing here, where there's like a one fiddlehead swirly and then a, a little pot of swirlies. That's my new landmark. I'd be surprised if there wasn't at least a uh, a room towards another effect around here. Right, made it back here. Uh, good. At least I know it's looping somewhat in a normal temporal space. Uh, Spatio-temporal space, whatever. <laughs> Right, right. Oh, this bike makes it so much easier. Um, right, now the landmark is one small thing at the top, and then two of those two things hugging each other at the bottom. Move, rock! Actually, are you in effect? No. I like how that, that bike was just sitting somewhere as well. 
Like it wasn't really, <laughs> it wasn't really like there was some kind of bike creature. There was just, just kind of a bike sitting around when we found it. Oh, hello. You're all wibbly wobbly. Oh, are you where I got the towel? Ah, uh, you must be. Well, uh, thank you very much for that. It's, it's come in handy for making some sick beats. Very good then. If we found that here, then I'm comfortable that uh, there's not much else to be found here. And I suppose the only way to go back is to get back into that big part of, uh, the, the big walled off area in the middle. Meaning we'd probably best get to another area of the seaweed land. Oh, hello. Never mind, you're different. You're one of those, like, quasi-trailer park things. You're not- it's not a trailer park, but they're, like, sheds. Oh, I think I want the lamp. Ah, oh, this must be that factory I was thinking of way earlier, mustn't it? Hi. It's me. Wow, it was dank in here until a moment ago. Are you, uh, drinking scalding water? Fun pastime, that. I mean, for people who aren't me, I presume. Uh, right, good, well, I don't appear to be able to go right from here, so perhaps, unless it's, I can only do it when it's dark. Nope. Is there some other thing I can be wanted, that can be wanted from me around here? Or maybe when we leave here, it'll take us to a different place. Can I add something fun to that water you're drinking there? Like, maybe if we all, if we freeze it all, it'll be nice and fun. Or maybe I can give you some more water. I am here to help as... It should be obvious to anyone who's watched this far already. Maybe I'm interested in what you're drinking and I'm gonna hop in there as my froggy self and figure it out. Never mind. Hey, listen. You wouldn't lie to a snowman, would you? Would you like some music to accompany your drank? Follow-up question. Would it be bad if I knifed you? I don't wanna li like, I don't wanna go on a limb here and say that, that that could potentially harm you, but would it be bad? Well, you never know until you try, don't do ya. Hey! Oh, it hung really hard there. Did it change colors when that happened? I'm very sorry. I mean, I meant to give you a new makeover in color is precisely what I meant to happen. What other colors can we make you? <laughs> Hopefully not just red. Oh, okay, you can change color only once, apparently. Oh, is this your dead color? Have I killed you? Oh god, it actually isn't pumping from there anymore. Oh my god, I'm so sorry. I'm like llamas with the llamas with hats guy. Carl, that kills people! Oh! Oh my god, I did not know that. I'm so sorry. How could you not know that, Carl? Oh, see, they're back up alive and fine. Sorry. Uh, they probably just knocked them out with the knife. With a lot of blood going everywhere. I'm so very sorry. I thought it might help me escape my dream. I didn't mean to, to, to let bad things happen to you. But the rules are weird under here, okay? Sometimes stuff like that me means things will happen. You can see I had no choice but to attack you with a knife. Alright, let's get out of here before I start crying how many people's lives I've ruined. Hmm. Unless I can no longer get to the place that brings you back. No, that's this, surely. Because now it stops scrolling all of a sudden and we can move our way back into here. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And were there any other exits from this room? Uh, I cannot recall. I know there's one at the far right, but aside from those two, is there like one that goes up perhaps? Perchance. You can't just say perchance. Ah, there's a little path that goes up into the wild wacky blue yonder over here. Is this where you get to that funky cube that makes the funky beats and it's kind of scary? Slightly? Oh wait, or is this a different room entirely? Is this another open world section? No, it's just a very, very, very large room. And by open world, I just meant infinitely scrolling. I suppose depending on your definition, the whole thing is kind of open world. Because it doesn't really restrict you from going anywhere immediately, uh, save for a few that you need abilities for. Uh, is this how I got here? Yeah, it's just a moment ago. There are ways to go right here? Or maybe not. Maybe not. Ah, yes, this bit here. Oh, right. We were able to get in there from another world at some point. Way, way in the distant path. Oh, never mind. You can get here now. Oh, right. This is how you get here and stuff. I don't- I feel like we never- I kept feeling as though we had, uh, ill-explored this place. Like, there was just- there was more to do that we had absolutely not done. Whether there's an effect outside here or in one of these buildings. Okay, so you can enter that building. I'm gonna check the whole bottom row first. Oh, I'm back to beginning already, am I? Okay, it's pretty short scroll. That said, I'm also faster than I have ever been, so... Right, so that door is open already. I, I suppose if it's not already open, you can't... ...deal with it at all. Oh, it's such an interesting area for a, a place that exists in a child's mind. I don't feel like an idiot if I learn at the end that she's an adult, but... <laughs> she's, it's, it, a lot of this game seems so much more interesting if she's a child, because then it's like, why does a child have this view of, like... Or why should a child have to grapple with this kind of view of desolation and, uh, and, and like, hideous conformity? You see what I mean? Also, I know everything makes a kind of strange and random noise in this place, but... The noise these things make when you talk to them is, like, especially kind of chime-like. 
So am I meant to speak to them all? Oh, is this one of them that loops infinitely, but only if you're going up? Oh no, it absolutely is not. Okay, so there are a ton of houses to check then. That one's open. Okay, I guess we only really want to be interested in the ones that are opening. Probably there won't be... They wouldn't be so cruel as to make them one of them openable that is closed, right? So let me just check every row and find every house that's open, because we found two now. Oh, you make a different-ish noise. Thankfully, they are organized somewhat into rows. So it's easy to, to sort of check them categorically. Looks like it's just the second from the bottom and then the, and the one at the top that have an open one. Right, uh, let's head to this one at the top. Is it familiar? I remember we're going through a hallway where there are eyes before. Yeah, that's this. Uh, let's go to the one at the bottom, because I feel like we've definitely been here before. I can see myself having done the same thing, seeing a door open here and being like, oh, let's go farther away and check if there's anything else, and then getting distracted by that tower at the top. So let's check the one at the bottom. Mm, yes, interesting. It looks somewhat familiar. Perhaps we have been here. Just not recently. Oh, is that all that's in here then? Is you. Uh, hello. I'm not really sure what I would do to interface with you, my friend. Do you like the flashy colors? Look at the flashy colors! <laughs> Excuse me. I can't go up or down from this area, it seems. So, I guess that's goodbye from me to you. Oh wait, I'm not supposed to knife them, am I? I don't like doing this, but it does look like there is path on the other side. Oh no, well I guess if you can't go up and down, then that, that little nubbins there is gonna block the path. Let's avoid the wanton murder where possible. I'll be much happier if I find out later that I was supposed to stab something that I didn't, rather than the other way around. <laughs> Nevertheless, it was a long time since we were here anyway, so let's uh, investigate it. I think maybe this is the bit that brings you out to where it's all kind of white and bleached out, and then it also gets all staticky and creepy. Anyway, hello, eye buildings. And goodbye, eye buildings. Oh no, this brings you out to this, which is one of the worlds, is it not? Can you get back to that from this? No, I don't think there's any way of getting back. This is a one-way uh, area. Anyway, this is one of the doors specifically, is it not? Very well, time to do a methodical check of it. I believe at some point you find a manhole cover you can climb down into. But well, let's check around for an effect as well, because I might have missed one. Using the top of this as our my landmark now. Oh, bloodstain. Ah, there's one of you. I found a poo mon- Are you the one who gave me blonde? I think you are. But uh, we got the poo hair from a similar looking beast. Very well then. If that's that, then I'm gonna look for the manhole cover at this point. Because I'm pretty sure that was how- that was from here there was a manhole cover or some similar implement that would allow you access to a new area. Ah, there you are. Well, uh, boy, howdy. Ah, and this is down here, which is perfect because there's a blob over here that I've been meaning to interface with uh, for a long, long time since I discovered that our effects do interesting new things. Um, can the frog deal with this blob of sludge? Nay. Is making it rain do a thing and twirling my umbrella freeze you? And then turn into a snowman and see what you say then? No, apparently not. I palm. If my stomach growls, does that have any effect on you? I can't think of any reason why any of the things we have currently would uh, assist us with this. Perhaps if I play a little song, you'll be fine to leave. No. Nope. You know what we have in common? No face! Yahoo! Excuse me, sorry about that. Sorry, pardon me. Ah! If you do a one on the bike, do you do like a wheelie or something? Oh, you ring the bell! Cute! You look roughly the shape of poo. Do the flies eat you, you or something? Guess not. Then I shall sit and become the lump as well and contemplate you. Nope. Ah! You couldn't survive the thunder, so I could you? Bah -bah. Maybe you could. Stop! Don't move! Well done! Impressive. Alright, looks like none of the stuff we have presently can handle it. Maybe there is no getting around this thing. I always thought I was just missing what, what an obvious uh, effect that one of my effects would have. But perhaps we just don't have the wherewithal to deal with it at the moment. I think we tried stabbing it several times. Doesn't a face appear on it? Let me just verify that. Yeah, it goes, oh! Uh, can I make it, the face change? It blinks, oh wait, now that it's got a face, maybe the other things will work. Nope, doesn't seem anything does that. Sorry, Cape, sorry for stabbing you also. Sorry, it's a thing that seems to work on a lot of things, so I feel compelled to try it. I didn't mean it. Unless stabbing it with the other hand does something for reasons we could never imagine. Sorry, I'm afraid I need to experiment here, friendly blob thing. Pokey with this, does that. Pokey with the other hand, nothing. Sorry, 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 sorry. I know this is not the first time I've apologized for stabbing you, but you gotta believe me, I mean it. We found the faceless ghost to the west of here, is that correct? Hello. And there's this very fun graffiti here. Water tap. Uh, yeah, the faceless ghost is right around this side, is it not? There you are. Oh, there's something in the water there. But yeah, and if you analyze these things, it goes like boom, and it shows you an image, right? Yeah. And there's no getting past here. 
But back here was another way to go. I cannot remember what was past here. Is this where there's a giant thing that eats you? And that brings you to the, the washed out black and white place, maybe? Hi, how's it going? Yes, that is exactly what this place is about. Uh, very well. Let us entertain this. Where is this? Uh, let's have a look around. This does look familiar. We were here before, I'm quite confident, but... I cannot recall what, if any, uh, effect we recovered from here. Oh, actually, this doesn't look quite as familiar as I thought it did a moment ago. Big wide open place like this- Oh god, a real life fly just flew by me. Oh, it loops pretty shortly. Big wide open place like this has got to- I didn't know that was a door, sorry! Oh, there's a hat and scarf there. Oh, you teleport me. You're not the same hat and scarf that- Oh man, I, did, I really didn't mean to leave that room. I bet there was an effect in there. I didn't mean to do that either. Shoot. Uh, <laughs> damn it, we've made it back just to, like, this generic area. Ah, shoot. Hang on, let me go see if I can retrace my steps. What door was it? That we just went through? Was it this one? Yes. I say just, that was about a half hour ago now. Somewhere around here is that archway that, uh... Brings you to the bottom of the sea, and you go through a few rooms there, and then... That takes you out to the... Sort of trailer parkish looking thing. Didn't we find you not far from the thing? So does that mean it's up here? Because you came from up around here. Oh, I can run away from it with the bicycle. Oh, yes, here it is. So it's to the right from here, I think. Unless you go up for. No, wait, this is a different thing. This is where you find the funky box, right? Yes. Is there another way to leave from here, though? Let's just explore this while we're here. Is this maybe where you find, like, there's, like, a boom box? And people laughing and playing with it, but, like, it's on the other side of, uh... Seaweed, so you can't get to it. I think that's what this is about, maybe. But this is also where that funky music box is. That plays the psychedelic video. <laughs> Trademarked. That's this. Let's not watch that. Wait, how does one up from here? In what capacity can the child go up? Maybe that was from this room. Ah, oh, yes, yeah, must have been. Nope, this is this is the big wide open one because I just passed the towel. Might have to end this episode the second we get this effect at this point because it's uh, taken much longer than the last two episodes anyway. I figured our luck would run out, considering there are fewer uh, effects out and about now anyway. I dare say I just said out and about. <laughs> that was probably a mistake. Oh, this is fun. Don't remember this being here before. But then, in some distant reach of my mind, I do. Whoa. I'm almost positive we never found this before. What is going on here? Ah, uh, hi. Oh, uh -huh. We might have to put that other investigation in the sewers on hold. Well, in that spooky place we got to from the sewers, because this is all new, isn't it? Whoa. Oh, I just got chills. This is cool and creepy. And what is this? Oh, the majesty of the unknown. Are there any other exits from that room before I just plunder, uh, plunge headfirst into an, a no way back area? Uh, I don't think you could get anywhere from here. It doesn't look like it. Nope. Up under the right, then. Oh, I'm thrilled about this. New area altogether. I can't believe there was a place in that big wide open room that we never found yet. How some of the seaweed has eyes. What do I... Oh, oh we're going up into a big temple. I'm going to get off my bike for this. Let's equip one that's fun. Let's pull out the flute. Maybe we can make someone happy with our music on our way up. <gasps> Whoa, how cool is this? Da -da -da -da. Oh, normally you can play while moving, but not here. Play the calm music to steady my nerves. What is that in the sky? I'm afraid. Put the neon on. This one's pink and pretty. What is that in the sky? What? Oh, we're definitely going up still. Oh golly, this is definitely new. Oh boy. Oh girl. Oh envy. Oh people. Yes. Oh, I'm, I'm, my eyes are trained on that thing in the sky. If anything attacks me on the stairs, I won't even notice because I am just positively in a funk about that. I guess in a funk is more like sad. I'm afraid of that. Oh man. Oh, where, where are we headed? We're definitely still going up because the background is moving. That's good design right there. Shows you're making progress and you're not just wandering in, in eternally. Oh, I can't wait to see what's at the top. Oh boy! Oh, I'm excited. Oh, it's more woods! Cool! It's like a park. There's like fun little lights and all. 
Oh, is this wicked or what? A whole new world. If you'll forgive the expression. Are you an effect-giving creature? Bye! Oh... You know what, actually, I can't really say I'm fond of that. That's pretty creepy. <laughs> if I turn blonde, just, can I sit beside the, the bench? Yes, I am using this item for its intended purpose. Oh, interesting. So many new paths to explore. So we could go east from here or carry on to the rest of the park. Let's try that. Oh, hello. So nice to see you again. It doesn't teleport immediately when you say hello to you. It. Oh, it's when you walk into it that teleports. I see. Uh, okay. Is there any benefit to me doing so? Hum. Uh, maybe if I play you a tune, you won't be so scared of me. I'm hungry, pals. We should get something to eat together. You know, I'm not sure any effect I have would do uh, us anything here. Let's just carry on. I like being the neon sign. It's fun. Is there an exit up here? So no, perhaps this is the only way to go is down to the right. I can't shake the feeling there's something that's to be done with that uh, person we just passed, but also I'm curious. Does this take you back to the same spot if you go down here? Yes, it does. That's not always a given. Now this I'm excited about. This I am absolutely thrilled about. What new area could it be? If it leads us to an area we've already been, I might be a little underwhelmed. But I get the feeling this is going to be an entirely new thing. Goodbye, friend! Well, I'm assuming... I mean, I invited you to, to a meal with me, so we're basically friends now. That is the code. Oh, you people are watching the city together! That's so cool. What is that flying out over the... Huh? I swear I just saw something... Oh, what is that? Oh, it's like a firefly. That's such a pretty night. The shot of the night. S s skyline of the city. It has that vibe of, like, the outskirts of a city where it's, like, close to the highway, so you're, like, almost in the forest and it's nighttime, and all you can see are, like, airport lights and stuff. Oh, so pretty. What could be in here? I'm gonna put the lamp... We're gonna want the lamp for this, maybe? Oh, it doesn't do anything. I'm changing the funky filters as we walk because that makes me feel safe. There doesn't appear to be any up or down from here. Onward we go. Oh, there are pretty flowers. Let me turn the effect off because I don't like the tint, but I like the outfit. Hello. Oh. Did you know that you stopped the music? That was cool of you to do. Oh, they all play different notes. This is fun and unique. Oh, it looks like they're about to stop me, though. Oh, say that it doesn't end here. Say that there's more to this path. Aww. Is that really all? Can I perhaps cut through it? No, I can't. Hmm. Some way to... Maybe if we make it rain, the flowers will grow bigger and get out of my way. Make it snow. become snowman. How could you do this to me? God, I could go for some food. What about a flower? Okay, I guess not. Now we look kind of the same because I don't have any facial features, much like you. My hair should fertilize you nicely. Uh, okay, well, let's... <laughs> I guess that's all then here. Oh, unless we make lightning strike? Guess not. Perhaps I shall ride my bike out of here then. But that was pretty and fun. Let me just check to make sure there's absolutely no up and down from anywhere else in this room. Because there was one time where there was a room where it was kind of not clear that you could go up or down. Although outside there, it doesn't look like where we came from before, does it? Oh, it absolutely isn't. Oh, it absolutely, totally, definitely, most hundred percently is not the place we just came from. Oh, this is a much scarier place. I should probably have the traffic light out. I should probably have the, tr the traffic light out. Does anyone else get the vibe that I should have the traffic light out? Because I am feeling strongly that we should have the traffic light out. But I'm putting on the pretty colors because they make me feel happy and safe. Hi. Goodbye. Okay, I don't have a scale of uh, this place is looping or how big it is or any of the thing of the sort, so let's just wander for a moment, shall we? Oh, you're a fun looking ghost. Oh, you've got a little kissy face. But you're running away from me. Oh, am I scared you? I didn't mean to. Where did you go? Behind the walls forever. Oh, hi. Wait, maybe you're an effect. A kissy effect. You move slightly slower from than me, and I, I assume that's for a reason, which is to let me catch up with you. Spirit headband! Hey? <laughs> uh, what? Put on a spirit headband. Oh, cool. What does that do? It turns me into a ghost? Does that let me, like, walk through walls or any such thing? Oh, interesting. 
What do you suppose that might let us do? I have- I can't say- I'm honestly not sure if it doesn't go, let you go through walls. Maybe it lets you go through entities? Oh! So if we find someone like that big blob that's blocking our path, maybe? Let's try walking through this thing. Oh, where did they go? Well, let's actually not try it on the ghost. Let's try it on the, uh, that blue blobish thing we saw earlier. Which was roughly a this way direction. But I bet there's even more to explore here. There's gotta be another exit. Ah, hello, blobish thing! I am a spirit! Can you see and or interact with me? Oh, I can't walk through you. What a shame. So I don't- we don't know what that does for now, although it is a swanky diet, I might have to keep it on for a bit. Yeah, actually, I should put the bike on, because it's gonna be, uh, heck to, heck to get around here otherwise. Not the towel. <laughs> Let's have a wander around, see what else we can scrounge up. Oh, this place feels very industrial and concrete and spooky. Like we are unwanted here. Oh, hello, you're different. And it's hard to do any landmarking, because they- they take you around in paths, so... You can't just go all the way left, because you're gonna hit a wall. Chances are, anyway. But I'd be pretty stunned if there wasn't another way out of this room. There usually is an, uh, a way out when it's a big open room like this. May yet be that it's just to a place we've already been, but I don't think that means it's not worth investigating. Double negative, sorry. Oh! Uh, is that where we came from? Yes, does it take us somewhere different now? Nay. Unless when you look at the flowers, maybe that changes where you come out. Every time. Oh, now it's red. And it's here again. Okay, does, so does it just toggle it, or... And better question, is it actually the, the, the flowers that's doing that? Or can I just go in and out and it'll bring me a different place? No, no, it still shows red, so it must be the flowers that do it. Is it just hitting any flower brings you to a different place, or...? Because it stops the music. All right, now it's showing the blue place again, and if I hit a flower now, does it change it, or is it just one change per time you're inside? Nope, back to red. So are those the only two? The blue one or the red one? Oh, there are different tones though. Do the tones mean anything? So the really high one, where, what's that? Maybe it's the, the sound, like the, the pitch that matters. So is it that the high one is, is red? The mid one is blue? And this low one? I did a low one a minute ago. There we go. This brings you to a third place then, surely. No, this is also red. Maybe it was toggling it then. Oh, I don't know. Oh, maybe you won't be as scared of me if I'm a spirit. This is sort of backwards logic, but, uh... Hello? Nah, I don't think there's a... I think you're just a, the, the skittish sort, which is A-OK. -okay, because I find myself much the same these days. Is that 20 effects of us? Look at us go! Well, we could end it there, but there was a little more I wanted to investigate around the seaweed place and in that that, that scary bit we got to after the sewer. I, I already forget what happened, but I, I brought myself out somewhere. By accident, didn't I? And the sewer you got to from the trailer park, yes? I think so. No word yet on what that weird thing flying around was. But no, in this game there probably won't be word on it ever. Right, so that's this, and this is part of the open world map, but it kind of like, it, you get funneled in here once you start going here kind of thing. Oh wait, no, this is a different room altogether, is it? Bah, it's doing my head in. Oh, there are multiple entrances, are they? They all go to the same area though, yes? I suppose so. Again, that shouldn't- that's not necessarily your default assumption, but here I think it's true. I don't remember how to leave. <gasps> Have I found how to leave? Uh, Were we here before? I don't think we got here by taking this path. Maybe we did. Oh, come on, I'm right there. No, this is nothing then. I could've sworn we came out from the bottom of that other room. This room here. Ah, at this point it's fast. That's on full screen. At this point, it's faster if I just go back to the beginning. Gap! Yeah. Sorry, I should've done the eye palm there, probably. Sorry for wasting your time. Whoa, has it always been like Mars out here? <laughs> hey, television eye, how's it going? Cool, see ya. Here we are. It's much easier to find this with the bike. I can't remember how we got to the the bit with the trailer parkish area and the sewer. It was up from one of these rooms, but I don't remember which one. Maybe this one? And then up again from here? Now that's this. Which we were looking in on a moment ago. Was it west of this or east of this? Ugh. What do you think about how many paths they had to hide while still making it so that you couldn't obviously go to places that you're not supposed to go like this? This game is a, is a, is, it's got some pretty good level design as well. Has all the everything else it has going for it. We may not find another effect today, but I'm sort of convinced that I can find something else if we go to that sewer and then parse that, that big scary face area, because I feel like we weren't thorough there the, first, the very first time we went there. Not sure why I feel that way. Only I can remember where the heck anything was. God, this is where that beach party's going on. 
which you're wholeheartedly not invited to. Maybe the spirit headband lets me go through seaweed! No. Guys, I'm hungry. Please, can I have some of your rice balls? Fine, I see how it is. If I stop them, does the music stop as well? Yeah! Nah. Nothing can stop the might of the epic jams. I wonder if this really is an RPG Maker game. Is it how encoded are the files? And maybe if, I, if we can't figure it out, rather than use a guide, it would be fun to just poke around in the files a bit. So let me check that now. All right, I don't know what LMU files are, but maybe you can open them if you have an earlier version of RPG Maker or something. I probably will just use a guide once once we decide that it's out of our league to get any more effects, which I've not decided just yet. Because as evidenced by this episode, there are still many a place, there is still many a place, are still many a place, whatever, that we haven't been. Ah, here we go. Don't know how I made it back here. Is this place different depending on how you enter it or something? Maybe that's it. Maybe sometimes you enter it and it's this, and maybe sometimes you enter it and it's the other place with the... The funky dancing seaweed with the eyes. And now that I'm here, I forget why I want to go back to that sewer. It was because the, the big open area it led you out to, we, I felt we hadn't properly explored, I think. Not this one, but the one behind the manhole cover. So I guess we don't really need to go here for this because this is one of the other doors, isn't it? And it is also where we found Blonde, I believe. It's right around these colored blocks that we found it last time. Was it not just north of here or something? Yes, ish. Northwest, I'd said. Right, I want it to go west from here, up through here, in through here. And I want to explore this place thoroughly, because I just went through one of these buildings before. But this seems like just the room you'd have an effect, doesn't it? Even if it is small. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It's about seven seconds to loop the whole thing. Uh, horizontally, anyway. Oh, hello. Ah, yes, maybe we were here then. This does look familiar, doesn't it? Oh, don't you bring me somewhere? I gotta be careful. I don't wanna don't wanna trigger that just yet, because I think that person brings you Oh! You speak to them and you go fished out of the one of the boardwalks or something, right? I think so. So let's explore the rest of it first, just to be sure we're not missing any other useful stuff. It's a much larger area vertically than horizontally, anyway, that's for sure. Or maybe it isn't. Maybe it's just a uh, trick of the perspective. Hello? Oh, your head twirlies! Uh, I can make mine do that. Doink? Aren't we much the same in that regard? Uh, I feel like I'm getting no headway with you. Well, anyway, it was nice to meet you. Uh, I also have eyes in places they probably shouldn't be. I think it's supposed to be their head twirling around, but maybe it's maybe them, it's them doing this, and they're trying to tell me to go right or left from here. Or maybe it's neither, and they're just kind of doing whatever, being themselves. That is also acceptable. You're allowed to be yourself here. I promise you that. Unless you're a degenerate scumbag. And I will hate you forever. That's probably not gonna happen. I don't hate many people. Even the ones I probably should. And we're back here. Okay, I suppose there's no effect here. If there is, it's one I've got already. Let's find that pinwheel farm again. Oh, well, that was easy. Where can you? Hello, hi, how's it going? Okay. Hi, thanks for that. I appreciate that. This is a boardwalk we've been to, I'm pretty confident, but it's perhaps an area separate from the one we were at before, right? Like, it's not necessarily the same area. It looks very similar to where we got Fatten not long ago. Though I don't believe it is the same place. Or it's not the same part of the boardwalk, anyhow. Er, let's try down from here? Does one of these bring you to Red Heck? Is it this one? Maybe I'm just thinking that because of the, the, the soda machine. This has got to do something, right? There's got to be an effect you have somewhere at some point that lets you interface with this. Spirit headband? When you're a ghost, can you... You like a drink? Maybe not. I'll go down here in a sec. We've been averaging two effects an episode as I've uh, been quick to inf to remind you over and over. So I'd, I kind of like to keep it that way if we can help it. But that may not be so. I'm just gonna have a look around here and see what... Oh, interesting. Oh, this just brings you back out, doesn't it? In the same way we just were. Shoot. Yeah, it does. It brings you here. Bugger. Never mind, thought I was onto something. Yeah! Then we'll call it there. We got a spirit headband, though. That's gotta count for something. I don't know, I mean, even if it doesn't do anything, it looks cool. And it's one of the effects. So next time, we'll be uh, carrying on. I guess there are a few other doors we have yet to really go through properly in that dream world uh, since we started playing the game again. So whenever we get around to that, next uh, episode, it'll be a good time, I reckon. Can't wait for it. But before then, next episode is going up the channel. is gonna be some more Ace Attorney Duel Destiny. So you know what to do. Look on out for that, because it's gonna be fun, because it's Ace Attorney, and it's always fun, except for when I lose. That's all for now. I'm Rose gonna be out of here now. Thank you so very much for coming around. Hopefully I'll see you around. Peace. By performing our Smash Booker Spectacular Pirate Show alongside Orla as our trainer. Well, we're using a completely different person now. 
You really think so? <laughs> Thanks. I was in my pirate show persona just then. Prosecutor Blackwell said I could introduce myself anywhere I like. I bet money he didn't think you were going to do it like that. Uh, what will this...